Toronto gay couple wins lawsuit in Italy after son's birth photo used without consent. Here's a summary of the article. A same-sex couple from Toronto took on Italy's ruling right-wing political party and won after a moving image of their first moments with their newborn son was used without their consent in an anti-surrogacy campaign. That photograph went viral, but not long after it was used without consent by the Fratelli d'Italia. A poster for an anti-surrogacy campaign by Italy's Fratelli d'Italia party that used an image without consent from moments after the birth of B.J. Barone and Frankie Nelson's son, Milo. Gay Lex went on to represent Barone and Nelson in a lawsuit against the Fratelli d'Italia and after seven years of court proceedings, won the case. An image by Eastern Ontario photographer Lindsay Foster that was used without consent in an anti-surrogacy campaign in Italy. The same legal team in Italy that helped Barone and Nelson also contacted Foster, the photographer, about assisting her to file a lawsuit against the Fratelli d'Italia for the use of her image without permission. During an interview with CP24.com, she said that having an image she took being misappropriated and used for hateful purposes was a huge weight on her shoulders and she's super happy that Barone and Nelson won their case against the Fratelli d'Italia. This post received a score of 9,000, with an up-vote ratio of 91%. Here are the top comments in response to this article. I wonder how the photo went viral in the first place? Did the photographer post it publicly? Greater than, that photo has been used many times for educational and positive reasons, but using our image for hate and negativity is something we never wanted, he said. They probably gave permission to use it in other contexts, and someone just copied it. There was a case where I live a few years ago where a lady's photos was being used as an after shot. Before and after for a product she had never heard about, turns out that part of the agreement she had signed wasn't so standard and allowed the photographer to sell her images as stock photos. Don't remember what came of that. Stock photos always require something like a signature from each person in the picture. Being a stock photo model is basically agreeing to have your pic attached to all manner of weird shit. But hey, dollar dollar dollar, okay. Dollar. Like Ander? S. Eret? Harold? who's now associated with hiding pain behind fake smiles and useless cruise liner captains. Dude, I just think of him as the internet historian. That's the link to the crappy cruise liner captains in my head, is documentary on the Costa Concordia. Greater than, a judge ended up dismissing that case after determining that Foster's photo was already widely available on the web and therefore there was no copyright infringement, copyright seems weird in Italy. Note that this was a separate but related case on behalf of the photographer, as opposed to the couple themselves. This article talks about it. It sounds like her lawyer screwed up. Perhaps even sabotage. Using the image of a child to spread hate. Why do we constantly tolerate this kind of behavior? Why don't we simply push these backwards tyrants to the side? That tolerance paradox gets a lot of people. You simply cannot tolerate intolerance or soon intolerance will be incredibly prevalent, which is exactly what's happened. The tolerance paradox. Philosopher Karl Popper described the paradox of tolerance as the seemingly counterintuitive idea that, in order to maintain a tolerant society, the society must be intolerant of intolerance. Essentially, if a so-called tolerant society permits the existence of intolerant philosophies, it is no longer tolerant. Best explanation I've heard is that tolerance is a social contract. The one who breaks it first loses its protection. That's so awful. It's such a beautiful picture of two loving parents and their baby. And people use it to spread hate. Question mark. Vaffanculo Fratelli d'Italia. This video was automatically created by Reddit to speech. The article and comments in this video were selected from Reddit according to their upvotes, and any paraphrasing was performed by smmry.com, without any human intervention.